When your computer is running out of storage space to store your data then it's time to get a new hard drive. This can serve as a dedicated data drive separate from the drive where your Windows operating system is running from. Although it's quite easy to add a new hard drive to your computer sometimes there are issues that can occur. Before performing any of the recommended troubleshooting steps for this particular problem it's best to restart your computer first. This will refresh the operating system and resolve most of the common issues that you are experiencing with your computer. Today, in this short video we will show you how to fix problem of new hard drive not showing up in disk management. First, check the SATA cable. This problem can be caused by an issue with the connection between the hard drive and the motherboard. There's only one thing that connects these devices and it is the SATA cable. Make sure that it is inserted properly on both ends. If you have an extra SATA cable then try using this. You also need to make sure that the power cable is connected to the hard disk. Next, check the BIOS. The BIOS is a software installed on the computer motherboard which identifies and configures the computer hardware and tells it how to perform actions such as booting. You can access the BIOS of your computer by first restarting it then pressing the setup key repeatedly during the very start of the startup procedure. Most motherboards will show the setup key during the initial boot which can be any of the following keys F2, F4, F8, F10, F12 or the Dell key. Once inside the BIOS check if your computer can detect the HDD. If it can't then try using a different SATA cable or a different hard disk. You should also try plugging the SATA cable to a different SATA port. Next, delete all other channel drivers. Sometimes a glitch in the other drivers can cause this particular problem. If this is the culprit you will need to delete these drivers. During the next startup Windows will search for these drivers and install a fresh version. First. Press Windows key plus R to open up a run dialog box. Then, at the run dialog box, type devmgmt, msc and press enter to open up device manager. On the device manager, expand the IDA TA, a TIA PA controllers drop down menu. Once the first auto channel has been uninstalled, repeat the procedure with every auto channel that you have under IDA TA, a TIA PA controllers. When all auto channels have been uninstalled, restart your computer. Check if the new hard drive not showing up in disk management issue still occurs. Next, delete the hard drive from storage spaces. Storage spaces is a virtual drive that can be made up of different storage drives. These drives are pooled together into a single storage drive. If you use storage spaces to include the hard drive that is not showing inside disk management, you will most likely be able to resolve the issue by deleting the HDD from the storage pool. To do this, press Windows key plus R to open up the Run dialog box. Then, at the Run dialog box, type Control and press Enter to open up Control Panel. On the Control Panel, click System and Security, then click on Storage Spaces. Expand your Storage Pool options and click the Delete button associated with the storage space that includes your HDD. Click Yes at the confirmation prompt, then restart your computer. Check if the new hard drive not showing up in disk management issue still occurs. Lastly, import the foreign disk from disk management. If the hard drive is being viewed as a foreign disk then it can't be seen by the disk management. You will need to import this foreign disk to fix the problem. To do this, press Windows key plus R to open up the Run dialog box. Then, at the Run dialog box, type Disk MGMT, MSC and press Enter to open up Disk Management. Inside the Disk Management utility, see if you have another disk under your OS disk. If you have one and it has an exclamation type icon, right-click on it and click on Import Foreign Disks. 
Your new HDD drive should become visible as a volume in both Disk Management and File Explorer. After following the troubleshooting methods, you have successfully fixed new hard drive not showing up in Disk Management issue. We hope that this guide has been helpful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell.